Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 25. Write your name first. Make sure you get that done before you forget it. You won't remember to do it later. Now, what we're doing is uh, breaking a total into two parts. And what we have to do is write a number bond and addition and subtraction number sentences to match the story. And all the problems are going to be set up for us to do this. Here's an example of what they're looking for, for answers. So this is the, uh, the number bond. And there's the addition sentence here. You see the addition symbol plus. And then the subtraction sentence here. Subtraction symbol with the minus. Number one. Six flowers bloomed on Monday. Some more bloomed on Tuesday. We don't know how many bloomed on Tuesday. Some more means we don't know how many, but more. Now there are eight flowers. How many flowers bloomed on Tuesday? So let's look at this. This is, here's the picture. We have flowers. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's all eight flowers that we have at the end. So six of these bloomed on Monday. So that, that's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, all of these. These are all Monday flowers. M for Monday. Really sloppy M. Sorry about that. But these are all Monday's flowers. So the rest of them had to have bloomed on Tuesday because they're not Monday. So those have to be the Tuesday flowers. So how many bloomed on Tuesday? You can see there's two right there. So here's our number bond. Our total is how many flowers there are altogether. There are eight. You can count them all, right? The Monday flowers, there were six. And the Tuesday flowers, that's two more. For the addition number sentence, we take the two parts of the number bond and they become our add ends. Those are the numbers that we add. Six plus two. You could have written two plus six, that would work. And it equals the total, because the two put together are the same as, that's what equals means, they're the same as the eight altogether. <clears throat> and now the subtraction, if we think of this, we started, how did we do this in the beginning? We counted, first thing we did, remember, was count all the flowers, and we found out that there were eight. That's what we started with. That's a menu end. That's the number that you have. That's how much you have before you subtract. And then we circled, right? We took out these six because we know those were the Monday flowers. And how many were left? There were two. That's the difference between eight and six. They're two apart. Two flowers bloomed on Tuesday. Number two. Below are the balloons that mom bought. She bought four balloons for Bella, and the rest of the balloons were for Jim. How many balloons did she buy for Jim? So, let's see, how many balloons are there? We have the picture of all the balloons right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine balloons. Four of these, are Bella's balloons. So let's just circle four of them so we can see which ones are hers. Um, where can I get a group of four? And we'll just kind of loop this guy in here. Make that four. And you can just, you can circle any four. And the rest of these are for Jim. So these are Bella's balloons, B. I'm going to label those. And the rest of them, it says right here, the rest of them were for Jim. So these, the rest of them here, those are Jim's, J. How many balloons did she buy for Jim? Well, now this is a little bit different because you look at the, the question that we had. In this question, it doesn't tell us exactly how many there were to start with. Like in the first one, they did. They said that there were eight total flowers. In this one, we just have the picture to count. But we still know. Right, we counted them. There were four, five, six, seven, eight, there were nine, right? So um, she bought four for Bella, 
We'll do the addition sentence first here. She bought four for Bella. And you can see the ones for Jim. That was one, two, three, four, five. That's five more. And then they're all together there were nine balloons. <clears throat> now number bond is pretty now we have the addition sentence here. The number bond's pretty easy. We know what the total was. It's how many balloons there are. That's gonna be our total right here. And we know that's there's nine balloons all together there. And some of them are Bellas and some of them are Jim's. So it doesn't matter which one you put in these boxes. We could have five here and four there. Those are the two parts. And when you put the, together the two parts, you get the total. And now the same thing works backwards, right? If we started with, what first thing we did was count how many there were, right? So we started with nine and then we circled the four for Bella right we so those are the ones that we subtracted four that's our subtrahend that's how many we took away and then how many were left that's the difference five that the five that Jim had that's what was left mom bought Jim five balloons and now we're gonna draw our own picture to solve the math story Missy, usually a girl's name, buys some cupcakes and two cookies. Now she has six desserts. How many cupcakes did she buy? So we, it says Sarah here, some cupcakes. So we don't know how many cupcakes. Right, some is that, that's one of the words that we really are looking for here. She has some cupcakes and she has six. Now she has six desserts because the desserts are the cupcakes and the cookies all count together because they're both different kinds of desserts. So she has some cupcakes. We don't know how many. We have two cookies. So we have, we can draw the two cookies. Those are the two cookies. And now what we can do <clears throat> is uh, we can draw some cupcakes until we have a total of six desserts, right? So that's, so far that's two desserts and these are all going to be cupcakes. One, and these are just my cupcakes. I could draw more circles, whatever. My, I'm a, and I'm not a great artist. These are just math pictures. So how many desserts is this so far? That's one, two, three, four, five. And we're supposed to have six. So I need one more cupcake to have six desserts. All right. So there's our, there's our picture. We have everything we're supposed to have in our picture. When we're doing these kinds of word problems, right? It's read, which is what we did first, right? And then draw, just drew the picture. And now we're going to do our number bond and we're going to write our equations here. That's an equation. That's going to be an equation when we're done. And this one here is going to be an equation when we're done. And this is going to be our answer statement when we're done. So that's all the parts that you have to do when you work on a, on a, a word problem. So right here is our total. That's all the desserts. We knew that. That was one of the first things we knew. Well, first thing we knew is that there were two cookies, right? So we can put the two there, and we knew that there were six desserts. That's the total. And then we drew all the cupcakes, and we knew that there were four of those. So looking at this, we can go from the picture to the number bond, and the number bond will tell us what we can put in the equations. We have the two add-ins, the two and the four. Add-ins are numbers you add. So two plus four add those together and we get the total or the sum and that's what that's how much you have after you're done adding six <clears throat> the subtraction the menu end for subtraction is always how much you have before you subtract now that's why it's always going to be the largest number in in a subtraction equation because subtraction makes the number smaller so you have to have the largest number before you subtract because it's everything else is just going to get smaller after that there's our menu in six. And we subtracted, if we subtracted the two cookies, because we knew we started, we knew there were six desserts, and we knew that there were two of them were cookies. So that one we knew. And this, the difference between those two was how many cupcakes. That's what we had to find out. That ended up being four, naturally. <clears throat> I'm going to do the rest of these a little bit quicker now. Uh, Jim invited nine friends to his party. Three friends arrived late. The rest 
we don't know how many the rest are and that's so it's just some others came early how many friends came early so we know how many are late that's three friends are late I'm gonna draw some stick people for his friends three people and these are the ones who are late late or you can just write L for late uh, so now we have to draw more friends until we have uh, a total of nine friends right, for the ones who are early so we're, gonna, we're starting off with addition sense we're starting off with three and we're gonna add we don't know how many we're gonna add yet but we know at the end there's gonna be nine when we're done so we know in our number bond, we could just go ahead. We know this nine is going to be the total. I mean, we start with three. And you, maybe you already know how many we're going to have to draw. But that's three. So I'm going to count up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And these are all the early ones. How many early ones did I have? How many early friends did I have to draw? I had to draw one, two, three, four, five, six more. So it's six, and that means this is six. And we draw the subtraction equation. Our minuend is how many total friends there are. Right? It's the largest number because that's because it's only gonna get smaller once we start subtracting. And we knew that there were three who were late. So we're subtracting the three to find the difference, which was six. Six friends came early. Mom paints her fingernails on both hands. First she paints two red. Then she paints the rest pink. How many fingernails are pink? So now this is a kind of an example where you have to think about this a little bit. You don't there's only one number in all of that. You have to read all the words in when there's a word problem like this. And you have to read them carefully. Mom paints her fingernails on both hands. So how many fingernails does she have on both hands? She's going to have 10. She's got 10 fingers. She's going to have 10 fingernails, right? And she paints two of them red and the rest pink. So we have 10. You can draw the hands, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. There's a thumb. That's a pretty sad looking hand, I know, but. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Well, that's a better looking hand. All right, so two of these are red. So here I'll even make it red. That one's red. That one's red. And the rest are pink. And I'll use color for this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And those are pink. Kind of goofy looking, but maybe fun. All right, so uh, we know there's a total of. 10 fingernails, so that looks like a six, so there are 10 fingernails, two are red, and if you know your parts of 10, and if you don't, practice them, because you're going to need them, eight were pink. So the two red plus the eight pink is a total of 10 fingernails. And then what we did was, we first thing we did was we drew all 10 fingernails. And then we then we colored the two who were red, and then we found out we counted the rest that were left, or we just knew that you know if there's two missing, then the rest of the ten frame has to be eight. She painted eight fingernails pink.